It's no secret that I enjoy playing multiplayer games. The majority of my videos may be Call of Duty Zombies videos, but I still love playing multiplayer games of all kinds. I've played Rocket League, multiplayer from the regular COD, Warzone, Fortnite, Halo 3, Fall Guys, Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, and much more off camera. However, there's one multiplayer game which strikes the perfect chord with me. This multiplayer mode is the video game version of that Pacha meme from Emperor's New Groove. I mean, you already know what game it is since you clicked the video, but you know. It's Bean Battles, boys! Let's get it! Well, when I can't play Bean Battles, Doom 2016's multiplayer will have to do. This game itself is incredible. I personally wasn't really that interested in it up to its release date because I hadn't played the original Doom games all that much at that point, and as the release got closer they put out trailers for the game, and that's when it really piqued my interest. Especially when it was an FPS that wasn't COD or Battlefield, as I was very much burnt out of those games back in 2016. Except for Battlefield 1, that game is still amazing and I love it, it's so much fun. I originally bought the game for PS4 on launch day, and man, Man, I can't tell you how much I loved it. I played the hell out of it, no pun intended. I beat the story mode at least two or three times over in launch week alone. And from there, I was looking for something to put my time into as I really hadn't been bored with the game yet. From there, I decided to give multiplayer a go, naturally as one does. I really didn't have any expectations because up to that point, multiplayer shooters were pretty much just COD, Battlefield, and Halo for me. But man was I so happy that this game was different, and yet familiar at the same time. It took inspiration from Halo with its gameplay meta, you know, no ADS shooting, grenade throwing, meleeing action. And it took inspiration from Call of Duty with loadouts and a little bit of a perk system. Those perk systems were called armor mods, I believe, which gave you little boosts such as a little bit extra armor on spawn, or being able to pick up health and armor packs just by being around them rather than having to walk over them. Doom Multiplayer also had a little bit more of an arcadey feel as, during the course of the match, power-ups would spawn in. This could be invisibility, quad damage, haste, Things like that just to make it a little bit more, you know, arcadey and doom. Though you could also find chainsaw power-ups, Gauss cannon power-ups, BFG power-ups, and of course not to mention the big thing with the multiplayer were demon power-ups. This would let you control a pre-selected demon uh, and you could just dish out a lot of damage. They were pretty much tanky and in some cases it was really just kind of unfair when you kept getting killed and killed by the same demon over again. But I did like how it was something that would randomly spawn, which of course would lead to people camping the power up. But anyway, Doom as multiplayer from there is pretty much your standard 6v6 affair and with just as many standard game modes as COD and Halo. But those modes are standard for a reason, so there's really no reason to mess with that. And that's a thing that Doom 2016 did so well. It didn't try to fix what wasn't broken. My favorite game modes were always Team Deathmatch and Infernal Run. About a year or so after the game came out, they released an update to make finding matches easier by splitting it up into team play and individual play categories. I hated that update though. I mean, that meant I had to go into team play lobbies just to get a chance at playing Infernal Run, when I really wasn't that much of a fan of the other team play options besides Team Deathmatch of course. But I understand why they needed to do it. Finding matches were few and far between at that point, and that was about, you know, two, three years ago when they made that update. Now, one thing that they didn't have to do, but was a major win in making this game relevant again, was update 6.66, which made the season pass content free for everybody. Most games nowadays have free DLC with some sort of battle pass or other cosmetic microtransactions. This is to support the extra income needed to support a constantly updating game. But good guy id Software decided to make the DLC free without shoehorning in some sort of extra microtransactions in there. Now once this update was announced, myself and friends of mine would hop on at least once a week, if not more, to play the game. We were constantly finding matches and having a blast with this gem of a game just like I did back when the game came out. Now unfortunately as it sits in 2021, I had a very hard time collecting gameplay for this video as most of the hours I sunk into the game was back when I didn't upload to this channel. At the very least, I was able to get some luck with the Team Games playlist on European servers, but as you can guess, it was a tad bit laggy for me living in America. So this is a point in the video where I want to give a shout out to multiplayer games that include a way to play with bots. I know they usually suck, but it can give you a power trip, uh, you know, like when you used to play Star Wars Battlefront 2 in your mom's basement on your PS2, back in the times before most people played online games. 
Now I know this video and video format are a little weird, but I just wanted to take the time to gush about a certain multiplayer game that I had put so much time into across multiple platforms. Doom multiplayer has fast, frantic gameplay that reminds me of Halo 3, but on crack. It has a perfect amount of modern touches without having to reinvent the wheel. It's a fun and essential game for anyone who claims to be an FPS fan. And I'm sure this video won't blow up because I'm talking about a game that's four years old at this point, but hey, I suppose you never really know. And I would love to be able to find stable, steady matches again and revive the feeling of ripping and tearing while also getting ripped and teared myself. Thank you for watching this video. I had a blast making it like always, and I had a blast going back and playing some multiplayer, even though I was only able to find one full game. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and leaving a like. Leave a comment if you played Doom's 2016 multiplayer, and also leave a comment if you think they should have had a traditional multiplayer in Doom Eternal instead of that battle mode they had. On behalf of the Cringe Club, I hope you have a great rest of your day.